Pets. Now to answer your pet questions is Dr. Kim Hammond and, How are you? and Finn. Stella. And, and this Bella, is yeah, Finn Stella. and, Bella. and now, Bella. I have to tell you, Finn is a duck tolling dog. This is really interesting. Um, Stella, can you put Finn down for a second? Look at Finn's tail. This is a dog. This is a dog that is entertaining. It jumps in the water and then entertains and does crazy things and attracts the ducks because it's so goofy in the water. Oh, and it's the a coolest great dog, dog for ever. kids, right? Yeah, it's totally fun. And four, yeah. four months old, you said? Yeah, yeah, it's a little entertainer. It's owned by That's the cool. Alexanders. If anybody wants one, call Jeff Alexander in uh, Baltimore County. Good plan. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the questions. I know we have a couple of them. Yeah. The first one is, my sure. dog is eating acorns in my yards. Are they harmful? Okay, now here's a, here's a news blitz, okay? okay? Live, local, and late breaking. The <laughs> acorns are falling over, off the trees early right now. That, at least in the Farmer's Almanac, says maybe we're going to have a cold, long winter. Oh, and no. the reason they're falling off the trees is that the squirrels can gather them and put them away. Right. And no, they're not harmful for your dog. I guess I'm, I'm going to ask another question that yeah. had to do with that. Anything else in your yard right now that you should be concerned about, though? Deer. <laughs> yeah, because the deer but, are crazy. Right. But yeah, no, you know, we have a lot of deer. No, you know, nothing dangerous no. right now, except they eat sticks and they get digestive mm. upsets from that. But right. really, no, I think you're okay for okay. the fall. All right, so yep. next question. I'm rescuing a dog from a hurricane damaged shelter. Can you advise me on what to do? Okay, those are those are serious. You know, if they're coming, if those dogs are coming from places like Houston, they come with a plethora of diseases we don't have in Maryland. Lots of diseases, oh, right. serious diseases, some that are really sort of zoonotic that can affect humans. And so, you know, go to your veterinarian, let them know it came from Houston or Florida and get a fecal check, get a blood test. Many of them have heartworms. It's not a free ride. And you know what? If you get a rescue dog from those places and you need help financially, you call me at the Falls Drama Hospital. I'll treat it for free. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. Sort call of. him. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to treat everything. Right. It depends. I'll get the parasites. <laughs> well, the next question. I have a deer and crow problem. Yeah. Uh, oh. Is there any way to get rid of those animals without harming them? Yeah. Get a, get a toller. Get a dog like this and All a right. fence. And that'll scare everything away. Can I tell you something really interesting about deer? Or yes. rather, uh, crows. Crow. If you see a, a flock of crows on the ground, you know what a flock of crows is called? I just learned this. I had. It's oh, a murder. Jen knows, of course. What a is it? A flock of crows is called a murder. Look a that murder. up, everybody. A murder. I know it seems a little aggressive. Uh, Jen would know that. <laughs> it, seems, <laughs> it seems a little aggressive. <laughs> but that's true. So, yeah, I have a murder of crows in my yard. Wow. But I would get a dog. If you have, you know, deer and, and, and crows and you want to get rid of them and you want to do it safely, you get a, a fence or an invisible fence and you put a dog out in the yard and they're gone and it's, it's all safe and nobody gets hurt. Totally makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much. All right, and thank you, Stella and Stella, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Thank you so much. We appreciate right. you. You're a great model. All right. Well, the time now is.